some present. Well, what do you know? There's another toys that I bought for my wife. It's a label printing machine. Quite small though. And it's cute too. Well guys, this is the printer. It's too small though, but it's very cute. Look at my hand. The size of the printer. Man, damn. Too cute. Hello guys, for this episode, I'm going to do the continue work from the previous episode. If you got watch my videos, I did a pre-assembly vlog on it, partly showing you some montage on what I did to this specific kit. All right, some parts, I already did some panel lining, but there's still more to do on it. Yeah, so this is the step before I'm going to do the priming, All right? So let's continue. So as usual, you can also do the panel lining on it. So it's basically not that hard with this kit. It's just like normal Bandai kit. So as you can see, I already did some linings on it. Yeah. So this is actually an inspired panel lining build. All right. It's just as easy as it should. Can you guys see? Just trying to connect the dots here, you know. Yeah, yeah. So if I'm looking at it here, it's supposed to be here. Try not to randomize the line as you can see you can use your panel scribing tape to measure between edges you know like from this these sharp edges to to the line in here you know what i'm saying should be looking good soft scribe Control your pressure on your scribing. You just need to do a few more drags on it. The purpose of this video I'm trying to show you guys is that resin kit is not as hard as other people claim it to be. Because most of the people that I've seen, they're trying to complicate things, saying it requires more skill. Actually, it is, but once you get used to customizing Gumpla, it shouldn't be a problem to you. In fact, it's, it's actually easier than it looks. The only things that separates it is the idea of kind of things that you want to do with it. 
right? Like for me, I try to do more details on this kind of kit. And when I'm doing the airbrushing, the colors, the macros, and the metallics, it all has to be balanced. Especially with the white tones, white scheme. So more lines, more tone. And if you're doing too much details, try not to go for too many color tones because it will eliminate all the details. That is just my opinion. Light scribe more drags. Once you're done with the line, it should come out as perfect as you want it to be. I wouldn't say 100%, but it should be satisfying. Uh, yeah, you can't see it, so let me sign on it. Can you see? Light pressure, more drags. It should be a sharp line on it. Well, there you go. One of the easiest steps. Everybody can do this. Look at this. Ain't that looking good, brother? You might have your own design on this, but this is an uh, inspired custom panel line. Nice. So let's continue. Yeah. See? Very nice. So once again, light scribe, more drags. One of the reasons why I say light scribe because sometimes with pressures you might readjust the scribing tape to another position. And then that's where the problem happens. And of course make sure your scriber is sharp as well. Light scribe, more drags. The line should be there. So let's do another side. Another one more thing. I wish people to not be scared of entering resin kit wall because it's a good chance for you to level up your your skills it basically gives you an overlook on resin kit world of course it has more details and expensive of course but if you like details with great looks normally i would say resin kit is the way to go very nice let's give it a more drags on it without the tape since it already has an existing line and there's two types of panel lining in my opinion one is mechanical look where every line has its own purpose like some maybe for uh, highlights and some lines are just to look cool basically what i'm doing right now is just to look cool and it's actually cool the color separation after that once i paint this kit okay. as you can see the line is already done yeah but as i noticed most builder doesn't do the connecting line here so no matter from what angle, this piece won't look connected and separate parts. So what you're gonna do right here, take a scribing tape, follow the edge of line. Just connect the dots, you know? So it's easier for you to masking and doing the panel accent ink, all right? It's not that, it's not that far of a gap, so sometimes you can just do it without the tapes, yeah? See? It's just like this. The purpose of this is to make it look like it belongs to a different part. Feel more scribe. When you feel it's enough, then you stop. See? I don't think you can see it right here, but it's there. It's a flat one to describe it. A few more drags. And it's done. So don't forget the other side to mirror it. All right. Please make it a habit. At least complete your line without hanging. You know. But don't get me wrong. I'm not only creating new lines. I also do the scribe on exit existing line, like something like this, just to enhance every detail parts, every edges. I redo the scribing. So, do your scribe, people. Well, look at this, boys. Something from Sagan. It's been long awaited. I'll show you guys something. It's the new release by Edda. If you're wondering what it is, let's take it out. Ah, look at this, boys. Not just one, but I got two. Uh, my hand. Oh, uh, Musegan boss. 
uh, giving me some replacement part very good huh okay 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 let's do this there you go boys this is the jest I can wow we wow you know I I hope they do give some perfume is what they did to Luna Maria oh it smells very good I think this is this is one of the accessory given it's a very nice trust this it's a metal pot oh, very good I wonder if I can buy this separately from them let's open this see what is included wow this is the kind of metal pots that I've been wanting but it's very expensive though I try to search in Taobao still expensive luckily for this kit it's given I was expecting something yellowish but I'm not sure about this quality on this kind of material but so far the detail looks quite good oh what is this why is it separated there's more parts oh, the smell from this resin kit i will wonder what kind of perfume they use though. it's quite nice look at this hey man i can't wait to start but i have no space to build this oh very beautiful huh very nice soft books good book i love resin kit that comes with a good manual book oh my look at this if my mother sees this she will say love a cup no love a cup when the first time i saw this new release it's on pre-order what attracts me to this kit is this thing the truster on the backpack it's super super nice i love it as you guys know i love backpacks on gk resin kit look at this backpack oh my god so this is the size comparison for the master grid 1 to 100 before and after conversion kit crazy huh that's it it's a great kit i hope and hopefully i'll be starting it soon or maybe just pre-assembly it's a great looking kit i'll see you guys on the next clip hopefully by the next clip there'll there'll be another new gk that my wife loves <laughs> <laughs>